Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be nice and easy for me. <laughs> and today we are doing a double makeup subscription box unboxing video. I have the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which is $25 a month. And I also have the AIA Beauty Bundle. So this is like an influencer each month does a different collab with them. I had a shipping issue, so I didn't get the February one. This should be the March one. And then of course, this is the March Ipsy. I did skip last month's Ipsy. Um, because they've been coming really late and I haven't been getting them in time to review so I feel like I've been kind of wasting it. So I did skip last month which sucked because like I really wanted to redeem my points for fun stuff and I couldn't do it once my thing was paused but regardless we're back to normal with both these boxes now and let's get into the video. Alright guys before we get started these are my personal opinions and if we disagree on anything it's just makeup it's not that serious. Let's do Ipsy first, because I already cut the box open. So this is the regular pink Ipsy box with the orange. I don't know why it's orange foam in here. I wish it was yellow again. And then it says Celebrate You is the theme this month for March 2020. And this is the 100th Glam Bag. Well, I guess it's not the 100th Glam Bag Plus. And it also tells you what's inside. I will also tell you the retail prices of all these items. I guess I won't. Oh, yes, I do. They, sometimes they don't include the prices. They start including the prices really tiny on the card now. So I will tell you the retail price of these things. And let's get right in. So this first thing is a coffee scrub. It's a coconut coffee scrub. Can we see the word coconut? Very lightly. Coffee scrub um, from Organic Feelings Los Angeles. So it's just a regular shower scrub. You scrub in the shower. This retails for $21.99, which seems quite pricey. It's a very thin, small bag of it. I wish, I don't personally use coffee things that much, but I might try this and let you guys know. I don't see any caffeine in here, so it might be okay for me to leave in my shower. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this next thing is something really cute. So it's from the Balm, I know that. I haven't like seen any new Balm products lately, but this is one of their newer things I've seen. Um, because I feel like a lot of times description box you get the Balm things are like old, not great reviewed stuff. This is a newer thing and it's a nice, cute little tin. So this is a day to night eyeshadow palette. Shadows on the go. Okay. It's an okay color scheme. So this is the outside packaging. And then this is what the inside color scheme looks like. It's okay. It's kind of neutral with a little bit of blue in there. I do appreciate the fact that this says black primer. I guess you're going to start off with a black lid and then brighten it up. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, this is the color scheme on the inside. This retails for $26.50. And so far we're doing these in order. That's pretty cool. Um, but this is pretty cute. Like, I like it. And there's like a little green tab in here if you need help opening it up because it gets kind of stuck. But yeah, this is the next thing in here. I think it's pretty cute, compact, good for travel, but it's not my particularly favorite color scheme in the world. Next up, what is this? What is this? Okay, so it is a Malin and Gotez Revitalizing Eye Gel. The packaging looks so clinically. <laughs> like, it looks clinical. It doesn't look like very nice fancy um, packaging. It looks very intense. So this eye gel retails for $42. Um, it says to keep this in the fridge if you want to for extra chill to work wonders on soothing and depuffing. Um, and I might actually start using this because I'm not using an eye gel currently and I am going through it mentally, crying myself to sleep every night. Probably too much information. Probably gonna ask too many questions about it in the comment section, but yeah, having a rough time so I might need an eye gel, but this it looks weird. This looks weird. Let me let's have a smell. Not really. There's not much of a smell. It feels very cold, even though it's really hot in this room. Yeah, it's kind of it's like a really wet gel, which is good. So I guess we'll see if I like this or not. Okay, next up in here is a brush. Ooh, it looks fancy. So this is a precision concealer brush from Complex Culture. This retails for $26 for this brush. It's a concealer brush. I don't think I have a concealer brush. Ooh, okay, I think I do have a concealer brush. This, hand this handle feels really fancy. I love the gold and gray. This is what it looks like. It's just like a little triangle for your under eyes. It's a pretty good density. I think it'd be great for keeping your coverage under your under eyes pretty good. So I think I might actually try this. Most of the time in Subscription Box, a lot of stuff I don't even like use. But this one I feel like I'll use the eye gel, maybe the shower scrub, and I'll probably use this. Because I got an It Cosmetics foundation brush because everybody raves about it. But it's kind of big for my under eyes, so maybe I'll try doing concealer with a brush too. We will see. 
Next up, we got something rolling around, so let's get this. It is a Phase Zero, which I think we've gotten one thing from them before, maybe a mascara. This is a Phase Zero matte liquid lipstick in Undercover, which retails for $16. It appears on the card to be a red. Oh, it's kind of a pinky, reddy kind of color, so it's more pinky, I guess. It doesn't look the same on the card at all, but this is this. I'm always happy to have a liquid lip, um, but I don't think it's the color I probably wear that much. It smells, oh, it smells like specifically something. It's sweet, but it kind of smells like a toy plastic, maybe like a kid's meal toy, but sweet. I don't think that makes any sense what I just said, but this is the next thing in here. And I think lastly, we just have the bag. Oh, there's one more thing, and then we have the bag. So this last thing in here is a Luna liner. It's water-resistant eyeliner. I get so many liquid liners in boxes, but it's good because they dry out pretty relatively quickly. Um, this retails for $18. It is in the color black, thankfully, because that's pretty universal. I'm glad we can all use it. And it is cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, GMO-free, and it's still sealed. So this is the Luna liner. Nothing fancy, just a regular, it looks like a felt tip liner. It says water resistant. I have a hard time with water resistant eyeliners because I don't feel like they're water resistant. Whenever I do like where my lash stops to the inner corner, it fades. Even if it's a waterproof eyeliner, it fades. So I'm not sure about these waterproof claims of eyeliners, but regardless. And I don't think we have a retail value of the bag in the card, but this is this month's bag. It says unstoppable. Oh, and it's pink on the back. What? That does not make sense. Oh my god, that's really cute when you close it. The pink and the blue together. Boom! Color on the inside. This is such a cute- it's a really creative looking bag, so it looks really crisp. Boom! Pop a color. That's really pretty. Ipsy, great bag this month. It's super cute. I thought it was just gonna be this funness. And I kind of like that it's different when you close it and you're like, wow, you're really great on the inside. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for the Ipsy. Let's go over everything that we got inside this month's box. So we have our little baggie here, which doesn't have a retail value, but it is very pretty. It's very pretty. We have a matte liquid lipstick, which retails for $16. We have a concealer brush, which retails for $26, which is a really good density on it. I'm very happy with that. We have an eye gel, which retails for $42. A liquid eyeliner, which retails for $18. We have a eyeshadow palette, which retails for $26.50. or $26 cute palette and we also have a scrub here which retails for $21.99 I think this is overpriced but everything else in here like it's a good mix of items in here it's a pretty good mix for 25 bucks this month so overall not disappointing and now let's get to the AIA beauty bundle all right so I don't know which influencer this month's box is like based around Ooh, we got white foam in the pink box this one it says be strong be beautiful be you aiaawards.com so this is the inside here. It says, hey babes, thank you for being in the AI bundle family. We are so excited if you discover new brands created by some of your favorite influencers. And then it says, this is two things. So it's Hank and Henry, which I've heard of before. And give the M L A L A. So it's Lala Kent's bundle. I am not familiar with her. But her picture looks nice. And then Hank and Henry have heard of because it's a brand. So let's get started. I want to start with this thing because I feel like I've seen this before on Instagram maybe. So this is the Hank and Henry item. And it is the Living Color Palette. So the box looks super fun. And the palette looks like it was a different color scheme. This retails for $21, which is a fair, reasonable price. Except she's thick. It's a very thick palette for this. Um, the color scheme is fun. It looks like you have four metallics and four mattes in here kind of a random color scheme honestly but it's pretty cute i just wish it wasn't so thick like why is it to be this bulky it's like the it's the exact same packaging as the anastasia beverly hills blush kits they used to have but for a couple eyeshadows so this is pretty 21 dollars. i feel like it's a good retail price i love the packaging on it um i just don't know if the color scheme on the inside is my favorite thing except for this tealy shade because that teal is beautiful next up in here is a little bundle of something i can't tell what it is yet so this is a Hashtag give them Lala Beauty something highlighter. It says highlighter, but it's kind of hard to read because there's like embossed words up there. I must say, with everything individually wrapped and in foam in the box, AIA is really trying to make sure things don't come broken, which is great. So this is the Give Me Lala highlighter. I don't know what color it's going to be. Oh, it's deep. Oh, it's deep. This is the color. 
This might work as like if you're medium skin tone, maybe as a blush, like a glowy blush, or if you have a deeper skin tone, it's be a beautiful highlighter. But this is the color up close. All right, next up we have looks like a bunch of very similar things. So it looks like we have two cream lipsticks, two lip glosses, and a matte liquid lip. So let's open the cream lipsticks first. They're in the shades. I can't read that. High maintenance and wifey. So here are the two colors up close. This looks really pretty, but I think this might be a little light from, oh, that's going to be like a concealer on me. I know some people can get away with the really pale lips and I'm envious of that, but I personally can't pull it off. But the red, the pinky, pinky, not red, looks really nice. So these are the two cream lipstick colors and I think I'm most excited about the matte liquid lip, obviously, <laughs> but let's do the glosses next. Okay, so our two glosses are in the shade The Affair and Randy. Again, they kind of match the cream lipstick color. This is a pretty cute color for a lip gloss. I like these. This kind of matches the wifey color that we had in the cream lipstick. This one's like a little bit darker than that other cream lipstick we had. What was the name of that? High Maintenance. So these are really cute. I like the packaging on this. It feels very like, I mean, it feels lightweight. Like, not super, super expensive, but it looks beautiful. Like, it reminds me of Black Moon Cosmetics a little bit. It's really pretty packaging. All right, so lastly, the matte liquid lip is in this very pale pink color, and it is called Queen. So this is the color. It's quite cute. So let me see if it's a color I would... Oh, it's very bubblegummy. Some very unique colors in this bundle. So I personally probably wouldn't wear that color because it is very bubblegummy. It doesn't look the same as it does in the tube. The tube doesn't look as bubblegummy. It looks more pink... It's very like bright so this is it for the AIA beauty bundle let's go over everything that we got all right so in the AIA beauty bundle we have five lip products which is a lot two cream lips two lip glosses and a matte liquid lip which retail for $16 each and we have a $26 retail price for this highlighter which I think we uh, pretty much a blush on anyone besides a really deep skin tone but it is a cute color I like that it's kind of like muted not super super bold and then we also have this Hank and Henry eyeshadow palette which retails for $21 which has a beautiful packaging on it just a little thick for me I think it's a little bulky to store anyways you guys that is it for today's video let me know if you like the ipsy or the AIA beauty bundle better I will leave both of these boxes linked down below for you I do have a regular a referral link like anyone can get from Ipsy because I'm not affiliated with them so if you want to give me like some I guess you get charms or something for it I don't know you can sign up using that down below anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one